Today we're going to have a look at a notebook that I haven't really shown you before and this one is my notes or my professional development notebook. Now while I was a teacher, professional development was pretty much just assigned to me. We'd have it through our weekly meetings or I might be signed up to go on a course related to teaching. But now as I work for myself, getting PD is completely up to me. Given that I now work as a content creator, it's been about a year now since I moved over to doing that full time, most of the professional development that I'm seeking out is related to making better content, how to serve my audience and really you better, and other stuff related to social media. You can see that I keep this notebook fairly straightforward. Really all I use in it is a black pen and the notebook itself. This one is from Baron Fig, and it's a rather interesting size, not quite an A5, but not really small enough to be a B6 either. Here though you can kind of see my process for taking notes in the journal. So I start every page off with a title just to say what type of media I was consuming and where that media came from. And underneath this I'll put a title for the PD. So in this case I was watching a video from Think Media and the title was YouTube Employee Reveals How to Grow Your Channel, which didn't quite fit all on one line so I just said a channel. By including the title it means that if I find any notes in my notes section that I want to come back to and maybe check out the source material again, I can find that pretty easily. But as as you can see, underneath the title I will just write down my notes. Depending on the format of the piece of media, sometimes I might put in some key points before the notes section or some kind of general takeaways, but I like to write the notes down just in a bullet point form so that they're easily digestible if I wanted to come back and re-look over those notes. The notes part takes up the majority of the page because you know, this is where we're gaining all of that information from having viewed or looked at or done the PD. And then I'll usually include a section at the end for any ideas that I generated from having consumed the PD. While I don't typically include page numbers in my notebooks, in this one I do because things aren't necessarily in chronological order. So we do have to add that one to my index. So on page 15, we had YouTuber employee reveals so we can flip back to my index and we can write that in here. So just listing out the page number. I just list out the one that it starts on. So some of these do go across two pages. So on page 15, we have YouTube employee reveals. And I'm just gonna say insights. Often the entry that I put in the index isn't the exact title of the piece of content. So if we have a flip through, I'll kind of show you what I mean. So starting at the start though, on the inside cover here, there was this box and I wasn't too sure what it was supposed to be used for. So I just stuck some washi tape on it. This is the only decoration that I have in this notebook, but I thought it was a little bit cute. For my title page, I just wrote notes, keeping it super simple. The idea with this notebook is that I want it to be really simple. So it's just really easy to take my notes down. I don't have to think about using any kind of specialty supplies or anything like that. So it can really just be for capturing information. So title page for the notes. We have the index, which is gonna go across both of these pages. And because there are no page numbers, I do number the pages as I go. So for example, on the first page here, it is long form content ideas but the actual title was One Huge Opportunity on YouTube. So obviously these videos that I've been watching from Think Media, the titles are done to kind of capture your attention and actually get you into the video. They don't necessarily tell you exactly what the video is about. It gives a little bit of intrigue. But for this one, even though it was a video, I did write my takeaway points first because I actually watched the video before I took my notes down. But just like we had on the sample page before, we've got the type of content, who it was from, what the title of the content was, takeaway points, my notes, and then ideas. When I set this one up, I kind of initially intended for every entry to be a full spread. So this would just be the ideas page for each of them, and then this would be the notes page for each of them. But as I've gone through, obviously different pieces of PD need different things. So the layout does kind of change a little bit. For our next one, this one was a course that I was doing called Niche Finder. So we have source, title, takeaway points, notes. And then in this part, I just put thoughts rather than ideas because it wasn't necessarily anything that was an action or doable. It was just some things that I was thinking of. This course had multiple parts. So you can see niche finder, niche finder, but the next part, if we flip over, we have some more of niche finder, more notes. Obviously in some parts, depending on the type of notes I need to take, I might put in some little diagrams or a little kind of table looking thing. If we flip over, I think I have another little diagram, but it's all done very simply because like I said, I just wanna be able to get in and write things down in here. I don't want any need to feel like I have to be creative or artistic to hold me back from writing that information down because that's kind of the purpose of this notebook is just to capture that information. 
The nice part about this course in particular is because the takeaway points were kind of given to us before you started watching. Similar idea to this one, which I think was a live video, but this one was from Brock Johnson. It was about making content, but faster, because that is something that I could certainly use some assistance with. This one was another live stream, which I obviously had a lot of notes to write down. And I gave myself an idea space, but I didn't actually end up using it. It might be the kind of thing that in reading back through these notes, they jog some ideas or make me think of some things that I might want to do so I can put them down here. So I've left that space open rather than filling it with anything else, even though it is only a small space. By keeping all of the pages kind of similar in terms of their format, so, you know, video, title, all that kind of thing, it helps with any resistance that I might have for getting started because the start is so easy, you know. Just write out those pieces of information on every single page and then get into my note taking. As you'll have seen from the headers, the places that I consume content from are pretty much the same each time. So there might come a time that in my index, I do some kind of a color code to say, hey, these are all the ones that are from Think Media. These are all the ones that are from that Niche Finder course or something like that. At this stage, it isn't super necessary, but if I were doing a course over a longer period of time and having other pieces of PD in between parts of the course, then that could be really useful. It could also just be something that I write in the kind of description for the index, but the simple color code does make it a little easier to see that information at a glance. Notably at this stage, I have only made it to page 15 in my notes notebook. So I'd love to hear in the comments about how you might use your journal or your notebooks to write notes. Do you do this kind of bullet point list thing or do you prefer long form ones? Do you take printouts and like stick them in and highlight them and stuff? Certainly looking for ways to make my notes notebook more useful or better. These layouts are notably super minimal. So if you're looking for a more minimal journal content, then the playlist at the top is where it's at. Or if you would prefer to see more flip throughs, the playlist at the bottom is for you. Click or tap on either of those and I'll see you over there.